Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be kind of a spur of the moment video. I already started on this project and I thought to myself, you know, I really ought to be recording this even though it doesn't seem like the machi machining videos do all that well. It's still something that I enjoy and that I enjoy sharing with people who are willing to watch. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, what we are building here, you may not be able to see it inside this piece of bar stock, but I am making a air compressor drive gear pooler. Um, we're working on a Bendix air compressor at work uh, for a Mac and we're putting a new compressor on it and you gotta pull the old drive gear off. Now the pooler that I have at work is close, but it's not quite right. So I figured what the heck, I got the stock here. You know, it's a Sunday, ain't doing nothing else. Let's go ahead and make us a pooler. It's gonna work perfectly for that. And it'll probably make a good steering wheel puller too. What I've got is a piece of inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter square stock. I cut it to length on the bandsaw and I milled off both ends to square them up and to get this to exactly six inches long. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use our edge finder, find our edge, find the center of the bar lengthwise and widthwise. We're going to be drilling a hole, I forget the size right off the top of my head but we're going to be tapping it to a 5 8 fine thread to accept the uh, screw out of my other puller. And then we're going to be milling in some 3 8 inch slots on both sides. That way, like with this particular air compressor, you can thread in 5 16 18 bolts or a piece of all thread into the gear and that screw will push down on the crankshaft of the air compressor, hence pulling it out. So uh, let's get to it. quick with our ruler. That's our three inches. Use this other side here. Yep. That's where we need to be. Okay, our top drill size for a 5 8 18 is a 37 64.
just going to go ahead and put a little chamfer on that. Help tap start, make it look better. Now, to assist with keeping the tap straight up and down in the hole, at least starting out, got one of these. It's called a spring loaded center. You put it in your chuck, and this tip of it is spring loaded, and most taps conveniently have that little hole in the end that the tapered end of that spring loaded center fits perfectly in. All right, now I just gotta lay out my slots here and uh, I'll do that real quick off camera. It's kind of boring. But what we'll probably do is, like I said, these are gonna be 3 8 wide slots. I'll drill a 3 8 hole at either end and we'll just go in with a 3 8 end mill and run back and forth and just keep cleaning it out. Okay, so I found another end mill and finished this slot out without having the camera in my way. I set up my little Noga mini cool there just to blow air on the cut to blow out any chips. I think that's what my issue was. 
on the first try as I was recutting chips and they bound up and just snapped it right off. It's unfortunate, that was one of my favorite end mills, but you'll have that. It's not the first one I broke, guarantee it won't be the last. It's probably gonna be a little bit noisy for you guys with that air blowing, but that's uh, just the way that we're gonna have to play this. All right, so there it is, all finished up. I've got it all deburred and cleaned up. If I have time on Monday, whenever I actually use this thing, I'll try to get a video of it on my cell phone or something. So, uh, yeah, that was fun, except for breaking that end mill. All right, I had to grind down the little puck that you're supposed to use on that to get it to fit, it's kind of tight in there. Let's go ahead and try this again. Okay. Now I can get that out of there because we're running out of room. I can just sit down in there. There you have it. One drive gear pulled. And there's that. So, yep, that worked pretty good. Thank you everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.